Hey guys, welcome back. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is, I think, lesson three. So right now, what you've done is you have uh, two videos that you've brought into FaceSwap. You've extracted all the faces from those videos. And then you went in, then you sorted the faces. And then you went into the sorted faces and you deleted anything that wasn't a face you want to swap. So... In my situation, I've got down the extract, I got sort in this folder. I have only pictures of Robert Downey Jr. That's it. Just pictures of Robert Downey Jr. All the way through, and a ton of them. A whole bunch. Because I went through and I took out each one. I have the same thing with Laporto extract. These are only pictures of me. There's no picture in the background. Ooh. See that one? I don't know where that went. i got to find that. So there's one that was a little bit turned sideways that... I probably should get out of there because it's going to confuse the computer. So I then take these pictures and let's quit that. Um, and what I want to do is I want to open up face swap. And because there's two files, there's, I'm sorry, there's more than two files, but there's the folder with all of my pictures in it. And there's an alignment file that tells the computer where the face is on every single one of those pictures. When I went into that folder and I deleted a bunch of the pictures that I didn't want there, the alignment file still references those pictures. It still has things in it that say, hey, man, there's this picture and you should be looking for it. And we got to tell the alignment file we don't want to look for it anymore. So when I go, if I go to tools, I'm going to say remove faces from the alignment file and then I got to point to my alignment file and in my alignment file I have two of them if I go to my original folder videos I have two I actually have more than two but you will have two I have my Laporto alignment file and that's for all my Laporto images and I have my Robert Downey Jr. alignment file and that's for all my images of Robert Downey Jr. so if I'm doing this for Robert Downey Jr. I'm going to click on Robert Downey Jr. I'm going to say open and then the faces folder, I'm going to click on the folder where all the faces for Dan, Robert Downey Jr. are. So that's in my sort, my Downey extract sort, and I say select. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the faces from the alignment file that are not in the folder. Because I deleted a whole bunch of pictures from the folder that are still in the alignment file, I've got to tell FaceSwap to go into the alignment file and get rid of those. And I go ahead and then I go down here and I say alignment. So I click. It's going to go through and it's going to delete everything. Yay. And it says, for me, it says no changes made. But for you, there'll probably be a bunch of changes made. So it's going to go ahead and say, okay, now I have all these. I'm just basically going to pare down my alignment file to only have alignments for the faces that are actually in the folder because I deleted a bunch of other faces. All right. Now. This is the this is the, the the heavy hitting part. Well, so you should do this for both folders. You should do this for I'm doing this for Robert Downey Jr. and you should do it for yourself too, if you've deleted full, uh, files of yourself. Then I'm gonna go and this is the part that's gonna take forever, literally for days. I'm gonna go to train, and this is where I'm gonna train the computer on what I look like, and what the other the YouTube, what Robert Downey Jr. looks like. So my input A is going to be the the folder with the video, or with the, with the pictures of the person you want to put your face on. So my input A is going to be, it's going to be my Downey extract sort. And the alignment file for that is going to be my Downey alignment file. So I go there, I go to my original video, and I go to Downey alignment. And you might see that if you change your alignment files, you'll see these ones with the big numbers on the bottom. Those are backups. So don't worry about that. Just leave those alone. You want this one. I say open. And my input B is going to be myself. So my little portal extract sorted in there. And my alignment file should be myself. So I go to class and I go to original video and I do myself. 
finally, it's saying, where do I want to put the model? So this mathematical model that the computer's making about how to take your face and put it on somebody else's face, that model, where do I put it? And I'm just going to click here, and I'm going to class, and I have this thing called models, this folder called models. I'm just going to open that folder, say select folder. The trainer, I'm just going to use my original trainer, just the normal run of the mill. These are all different types of faces, face swapping. Some are better than others. We're just going to go with original right now. Um, and then down here, everything else should line up. It should work pretty good. So I hit train, and this thing starts to kind of rev itself up. And you'll see down here. It looks at all the images, it looks at all my images B, kind of goes through them, make sure that the alignment files are, are referencing all the same images, make sure they're not messed up. If your alignment files are messed up, you'll get an error right now, and that means you got to go back and switch your alignment files. And then, like, the computer's fans will start kicking up, because it's going to start learning, and then, give it a second... It's going to do a save. It's going to save the models. And boom, here we go. We're off. Now, mine has already been going for quite a while. So this is starting to see what it looks like as it's going for quite a while. You can tell that my beard is making a huge problem for the nose on the computer. But it's getting better, right? This is, and what you're looking at is, this is the original Robert Downey Jr. This is when the computer tries to remake Robert Downey Jr. This is how close it can remake it. So this is actually done uh, without the computer. No, like, the computer remakes this face. And then this one is we're trying to put my face on top of the remade face and how it's doing with that. And then this, this is, uh, you know, another frame of the same thing and then another frame of the same thing, another frame of the same thing. So... Um, then if I go to, there's all, this is the preview here. If I go to graph, you'll see here, it starts to make this graph. Um, this graph is, as you go further, is going to show you how many errors are being made. As you're, and this graph is going to start going down and down. It's going to start, every iteration should make a little bit less errors and a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less. And that'll tell you how closely it's coming to reproducing your face. Um, and then analysis here, you'll see these are all the sessions that I've had. One, I've had 18 sessions so far with this. Um, and it's been going for 76 hours. I let it run over the weekend. So like this round, it went for 29 hours in a row. Um, this session, so base, and this one's only been 11 seconds so far. So for 76 hours, this is where we're at. If I didn't have a beard, I think we'd be in a much better shape. Also, look how well it's doing putting Robert Downey Jr.'s face on my face. And that looks, that's getting close. That's very clear. But on the, these, it's, it's, yeah, it's not looking so hot. I think it's because they didn't have a beard. I think it's also because his face is turned around a lot, whereas mine is straightforward. A straightforward face is going to be a lot easier to face swap. So you just let this thing run and let it run and let it run and let it run. And I'm telling you, the longer you let it run, the better it'll be. And you'll see, every few minutes, it's going to save it. So that if it crashes, uh, you're going to be able to go back and just use your old model to keep on going. You can turn it off, I can stop it, and I can start it. It'll, it's just going to keep remembering and keep learning and keep learning. Um, so at this point, this is when you go home, you turn it on, This is, and you just let it run. Like, put it in the living room and let it run and walk away if you happen to um, walk past it and notice the fans aren't running chances are there was an error some error went down here so just open it back up you know reach start your computer is probably the best thing to do and then to start it back up and let it run let it run let it run and you want like like at least 24 hours some of these things can take up to a week but like at least 24 hours of something um so yeah, so that's it for this video. Let this thing train, man. Give it time to learn.